Hey, what's going on guys? Schwarzenegger Magic here. Today guys, I'm showing you an amazing magic trick using an empty Tic Tac box and a, uh, a little penny, alright? A nice shiny penny, alright? And here's what the magic trick looks like. You take the Tic Tac box and I'm going to try to literally take this penny and push it through the plastic. Can I do it? Well, let's find out, alright? Uh, if I take this penny and just... BAM! Just like that. You see that? The penny's actually in the box. Just like that, the Tic Tac box. How did I do that, guys? I'm going to teach you. Coming up right Alright, guys, so how did I do that? That's an amazing trick. It's so simple, so effective. Now, where did I learn this? Screen Freak Rewind. Check them out, guys. They just saw his channel today, and I gotta say, I've been missing a good YouTuber. Talk about a great magic channel. Check them out, guys. He's been around for a little while, and I, I'm not subscribed to him. Don't know why. Oh, well, I am now. Alright, so check them out. Tom Schwarzenegger Magic sent you in the best possible spelling you can because not many people can spell my name right. Uh, so let's 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 learn this. How how is it done? Well, first off, you need two pennies. There's the first penny. Where's the second? If you were to look at this box right now, you would tell me what? It's empty, right? Front, back, top, it's empty. But it's not. Look at this, guys. The penny is lodged into the cap of this box, this tip tic tac box, and it's hidden by the sticker. It's that cool. All right, now how do you do that? All you need to do is take your penny, you put it in your empty Tic Tac box. In case you guys don't have Tic Tac boxes, they're at local convenience stores, drug stores, everywhere, okay? And all you're doing, okay, and to get the, you take the penny, you're going to squeeze the sides of the Tic Tac box that makes a hole for the penny to go into and it literally slides in. To get the penny out, you squeeze the top and it comes flying out, all right? So now guys, all you need to know is how how do you want to get rid of this penny now i do one way which is a little bit more difficult and it's more ch chance that the spectator can see i just take the penny push it into my thumb and index finger all right and literally just take it away and put it in my pocket that's risky that is risky all right um what screen freak rewind uh shows and I, it's much better for performing to people guys is you take the penny you go one two and on the third one you cover up with your three fingers here so the spectator can't see this you grab it with your thumb and you pull away okay and now the penny is hidden behind there you drop this penny out and bam you're good you can shake it around and at this point you transfer this away show them and just take it away that's a much better way of doing it um, and I think that's the way you guys should learn alright so let's recap you put it in there all you need to do is squeeze the sides bam your penny goes in alright at this point you show the spectator the box front and back okay be sure not to ex expose the sides because that that way they can see it also from the bottom they can see it okay uh, at this point you say watch I'm gonna take the penny one two you cover your hands in front grab the penny and squeeze the box okay uh, when you squeeze the box I like to add a little hit to it as well and it'll, it'll make the penny actually fly out okay that was actually really bad I had a little too lodged in there okay so you gotta be careful how far you put it in the cap alright so a good one will just literally come out like that it looks great it's an awesome trick any questions leave me in the comments I'll be there to answer your questions thank you guys for watching help other people out if other people have questions as well we're all a community here subscribe if you haven't subscribe to screen freak Re rewind guys he's an awesome guy awesome channel thank you guys for watching and as always remember I'll be back